Meet Norm Coleman, Saudi Arabia's top lobbyist in Washington. I work in, 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 in the U.S. side. I'm not advising the royal family. Uh, we need to figure out a way to, to maintain a relationship. The relationship's important. The former senator's law firm received $175,000 a month for its Saudi lobbying work. Activities include, among other things, sending more than 1,000 emails to House and Senate staffers on behalf of Saudi Arabia just since the beginning of 2021. But Coleman also wears another hat. He oversees one of the largest political dark money operations in America. Shh. Coleman helped to found the Congressional Leadership Fund Super PAC, which can raise unlimited sums of money, and the affiliated American Action Network, described as a social welfare group. Under the law, the Super PAC needs to disclose where all of its money comes from. But some of that money comes from dark money groups, like the American Action Network. The tricky part? As a 501c4, American Action Network is under no legal obligation to disclose the sources of its funding. Here's the bottom line. Coleman oversees one of the largest political war chests supporting congressional races, while simultaneously lobbying many of the same Republicans on Saudi Arabia's behalf. And this dynamic should raise serious concerns, because Coleman's activities appear to be just one step removed from the more direct roles that are explicitly barred under campaign finance law. A spokesperson representing both organizations said that all of AAN's fundraising was domestic and that it had never solicited nor accepted any foreign funds. And that Coleman, while on the board, does not fundraise for AAN. Coleman and Hogan Lovells did not respond to requests for comment. Clearly, US foreign policy remains fertile ground for lobbyists who get paid by foreign principles to manipulate the debate. It's compelled members of Congress to introduce measures aimed at curbing foreign influence in US democracy, including a bill aimed at requiring tax-exempt groups, including think tanks, to reveal their foreign funding. Another would impose a ban on senior executive branch, military officials, and members of Congress from ever lobbying for a foreign principle after they leave public office. The effort in Congress is underway to shut down lucrative opportunities for the future Norm Coleman's of the world. After all, don't Americans deserve a government that works for them and not the Saudi royal family?